Mendy, signed for £50 million, $85 million from Monaco in the summer, injured his knee during City's weekend win over Crystal Palace and will fly to Barcelona to see Guardiola's personal medical team for tests on Thursday. City are still not certain the full extent of the knee injury but Guardiola nodded when asked if his absence would be measured in months. He is travelling to Barcelona and we are going to see what he has, said Guardiola after City had continued their unbeaten start of the season with a 20 Champions League win over Shakhtar Donetsk on Tuesday. Round 7 Our first impression is that it will it be a little long, longer than we expected which is unfortunate. Wait but I am pretty sure it will be longer than we would like. Manchester City's French defender Benjamin Mendy C is helped by medics. Source of pits very frustrating for him, the first as a person but, like happened with City midfielder Ilkay Gundogan, I feel really sad for him, the way we want to play, we will miss him a lot. He is a unique player, the joy he gives on and off the pitch. I think it is a major setback, he added we will see in January about a new signing. We have alternatives, we thought next summer about looking for another left-back, another replacement, Guardiola, who spent £130 million on three full-backs in a 10-day period over the summer, also conceded that the injury could force his club into the transfer market in January for a replacement. Ilkay Gundogan after being injured by a challenge from Norden Amrabat of Watford. Source Getty Images Way will see in January, he said. We thought next summer we would look for another left-back but we will see what we will do, we have alternatives in the squad Danilo, Fabian Delph, Fernandino can play there. We will see as we go along. Meanwhile, Watford midfielder Nathaniel Chaloba is set to have surgery on a knee injury he suffered in training last week. Chaloba had impressed for the Premier League club since his closer season move from Chelsea. However, Watford performance director Gavin Benjafield confirmed the 22-year-old, who was called into the England squad for their previous World Cup qualifiers, is now set for an extended spell on the sidelines. Whilst we can't put an exact timeline on his recovery, we are expecting to see him reintegrating into the squad well before the new year, Benjafield told Watford's website. Chaloba's absence will be a blow to Hornets boss Marco Silva, whose side had made a strong start to the season thanks in part to their midfield as impressive form. Richelis and Andrade of Watford celebrates scoring with Nathaniel Chaloba. Source Getty Images The latest sports news, in your inbox daily.